Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to take apart your PlayStation 5 controller, and this is relatively easy. Now, the first thing we need to do is take off this face cover right here. Now, we might be able to use our fingers and just take this off just like this, and this should just pop off. And it's not that difficult. Just do each side, and then you should be able to just pull it off. So, And let's put this to the side. Now, another thing we want to do is pop off the R1 and the L1 buttons. And I would prefer to use a plastic piece so I don't damage the plastic on the controller itself. So I'm just going to go under the button and then pop off the button. So just like this. And just lift up. And that will come off. And let's do this side. It comes off relatively easy. So now we have multiple screws that we need to unscrew. So we have one here, here, and then we have here and here. So we have four screws total, so let's remove those. And I'm just gonna use a small screwdriver to unscrew these. You don't need a T9 or T8 screwdriver like you would on the Xbox. Okay, now that I have all the screws undone, I wanna go to the front here, and you might need a smaller piece. Otherwise, you could try using like a little flathead screwdriver. So I'm just gonna use this thing that kinda looks like a guitar pick, and I'm just gonna lift up right here, and this might be a little bit difficult to get off if these are still latched. So you can see it's unlatched now and we should be able to just pull off the back plate here. So let's create some separation on the bottom here and then we can just lift. So I have separation on one side. Now let's do the other side. All right, so now we can just remove the back cover here and feed it over the R2 and the L2. And here is the back of the controller where we can gain access to the battery now. And then we can change this out relatively easy. So if you want to remove the battery, you can just lift up right here. And then to remove this piece, there's one screw. And then watch out for the little microphone. This is gonna to have to be unplugged at one point in time if we're trying to gain access to the thumbsticks. But, but it's very easy just to take apart the back of the controller. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, I'll leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six tech.